here at 6,000 feet on the Laikipia Plateau on the Iwaso Nero River. And right now, I shouldn't really be able to sit in this particular spot. But thanks to the drought and abstraction of water upstream, the river is very low and it's not actually flowing. The reason we're here looking for mosquito larvae is because we want to understand how climate change, environmental change and human activities are modifying landscapes creating conditions for vectors, insects and other creatures that spread diseases to survive better and actually change the health of livestock and of people in this environment. Um, and this is interesting because there's three different genera of mosquito that you find here, um, Aedes, Culex and Anopheles. Um, so we really want to understand the behavior of these different mosquito, uh, genera of mosquitoes since they're so important um, with their impacts on human health. And part of the question that we're looking at is how human activities versus natural habitats differ in where mosquitoes end up breeding. For example, we found lots of stagnant pools. Most of them don't have very mos many mosquito larvae. But in some of those that do, we find plastic bags that have either blown here even though we're in the middle of a very remote area, they've either blown here with the wind or they've been disposed of by people. Wherever there's a plastic bag, it seems to actually have a positive impact on the survival of mosquito larvae. Mosquitoes, like all other animals, have habitats. So what we're going to do is now that we've collected these mosquitoes, we're going to bring them back into the lab and then watch them develop. And from after they develop into adults, we'll be able to compare how different the mosquitoes here and impala are to other mosquitoes in Africa and around the world. 